Let's just say I'm excited to hit the Caribbean, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. We're starting out today. It is raining, which is super unfortunate. It's great because we are headed home today. We have already taken our stuff down to the buses. Kids are grabbing some food and we're gonna head out of town. We've got a long day ahead of us, a long day of driving, and as sad as I am to leave these beautiful palm trees, it's raining all day, so I'm not sad about that. It has been an amazing time here with Ryler. As you guys have seen from the last couple of videos, we've had a great time. Universal was amazing. Brought really fun souvenirs home to the kids, so I'll go home and give them to them, but it will probably have to be tomorrow because I think we're pulling into town at like 10 p.m. It's gonna be a late day, long day. Got all the road trip snacks in the buses already, given us gift cards that we get to go in and use for meals. It's been very organized, very well done, so happy. Just getting ready to head out here in just a little bit. This has been one of those trips that I will probably never forget because it's been so much fun with Rye Guy. Speak of. Hello. Hi Rye Guy. You ready to head home? Yeah, I'm so tired. So tired. But you got this super cool sweatshirt last night. Yep. I like it. Ready? Yeah. What up? Good morning. Welcome into another vlog on This Is How We Bingham. And today is a Saturday. The reason you can tell it's a Saturday is because one, we're all a little bit tired from an epic mm -hmm. sleepover last night. We had so much fun sleeping down in the basement. Stayed up a little bit later than we probably should have. Sorry, mom. But today, the kids already started off their day doing an awesome Easter egg hunt. Oh, this yeah. is like an annual tradition so that we've been part of for years and years and years. And they got invited back by their cousins to the old neighborhood. Was it pretty fun? I mean, I know you guys are too old. You can't like actually participate. I couldn't but... do the things, but I got some candy. It was fun hanging out with cousins. And, and Hazy stuff. got to do it. She got to run out of her basket. Did you have some fun? Yeah. She got a bunch of candy with her cousin. Great way to start their day and Mana was so helpful because with mom not here, these kids were not gonna be able to get there. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get the vlog up. Mana said, hey, no problem. I'll take them over there. I'm going anyway. She came, picked up the kids, took them over there. I was able to get the vlog up. Now they are brought back home just in time for us to head right back out because Kribby Doo's got a game today. It is game day, baby. Got his fresh jersey. Been a while, I feel like, since you've had oh, a game. You've it's had, like... been, our season ended and this is a tournament, I think. Oh, or, okay. Or it's or a new, new season. season. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is kind of like a year round thing, so it's hard to really mm -hmm. tell when a season ends and begins. On a school team, you kind of just know when it ends and then it picks up again the next year, but this is ongoing all the time. Fresh set of games, fresh set of possibilities. One thing that I know is possible is that mom and Ryler will be making their way home today. We'll have to check in with mom, get some more information That's on that. Insane. But right now though, we gotta get crew to his game and then we will continue to follow the journey as mom comes home with Ryler. And then when they get here, it's supposed to be very, very late tonight. We might have to do a combination of Saturday and Sunday again. I do wanna see what mom brought home because if you saw the vlog, she brought everybody home, something special and yes. unique just to them. I was a good girl, she would bring me a souvenir. So all I wanna know is if she stopped at the It's Sugar store for me. That's the only souvenir I want. <laughs> We are back from cruise game. I tell you the weather here taking a turn for the worst. It is dropping in temperature by the minute. 100% chance of rain in the forecast and it is windy and cold. We actually have a neighbor who's welcoming home a son from their mission. They're gonna do the big backyard party. Gorgeous views up here in these parts of the mountains. A lot of plans are made to host things outdoors, but sometimes mother nature does not cooperate. So we were loaning some of our tables and chairs that we've collected from some of the parties that we've had here, taking them over to their house and the wind has just blown the tables out of our hands and storing stuff in their garage because it's about to dump rain. And we've been there. If you guys didn't see the video, when we put together a little homecoming party for Maddie coming home from the Dominican Republic. It was back and forth the entire day. We set up outside, brought it inside, went back outside, brought it inside, brought half outside, half inside. And up until the last minute, we had finally decided to see a break in the clouds. We're definitely going to do it outside. We did it all outside. And then the wind just started knocking over the vases of flowers, getting water everywhere. And you know what's funny? I don't even remember any of that. All I really remember is that it was the perfect party, the perfect night, and the perfect occasion. And we had a ton of fun. Welcome home! Sometimes that stuff can feel like it's dampening, no pun intended, the mood or the experience, but in the end we had a great time and it was just a funny story to remember and a fun vlog to go watch. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. Here, cold, rainy, getting ready for mom to come home. Rexon just checked the location, they're about in Vegas, more than halfway, I think. They should be getting home at a reasonable hour. If they keep up this pace and they don't stay too long in Vegas, they should be able to get home at a pretty reasonable time. But that gives us a few hours to pick up here around the house, tidy things up, get ready for mom and Riley's return and we're so excited to welcome them home.
All right, Rye Guy, we've stopped in Vegas. We're in Vegas. We're pretty really close. Nice We're though. halfway there. We've gotten some food. We got Chipotle. What'd you get? I got Vegas. Yeah, we got some shake. food. Got a shake. So what kind? Peanut butter? No, uh, cookies and cream. One of the ladies so got good. peanut butter. She said it was so good. We've been on the road for a long time. I think we're ready to get home. Bus is here. He's ready. Should we get back to our family? Let's go. Let's do it. I just ran across an entire parking lot for this. Mom and Ragai are on approach. It's gone from rain to snow here. We had the rain coming down. We had thunder, lightning. The winds were whipping. We heard all these loud noises outside. We ran outside to see what was going on. Garbage can lines were banging up against fences. The wind started coming in crazy. We saw sheets of rain going across the basketball court. And then moments later, it changed from that rain to snow. It's snowing outside right now. Kind of heavy, wet, slushy, sleety type snow. A nice <laughs> welcome home to Ryler and Mama as they are on approach. I was just told they are expected to be at the school at about 9.30, so that's only 30 minutes away from right now. My original plan was to load up everybody in the car. We'll all go meet them, welcome them back. But based on the current weather situation, I think that I would rather have the kids stay here with crew than to have them go there and just sit in the car because they couldn't really get out. They'd be getting snowed on and rained on. I will probably just go myself, pick up Ryler and mom, bring them back home. We'll be reunited here. Man, what a welcome back. Glad they made it safely. Glad they were able to survive the weather elements, the rain, the wind, now currently the snow. Just excited to have them back here at home, sleeping on their own beds tonight. Hazel, it turned to snow. Oh boy, that's on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I'm excited to hit the Caribbean, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're like taller than mom. He's taller. Whoa, wait, that just happened over this last four days? How long were you gone? It is so nice. Mom is back. Rye Guy's back. The family is restored. There is nothing like coming home. No matter how fun the vacation is, no matter how much fun you're having, how Mom, great we, it is, we weren't even you on this. To come home. So I feel like you came home to us. Like I know what you mean in a general sense. When we go on vacation, it's nice to come back to home base and be around our comforts and our safe and happy place. But you literally were gone without me. That should be a giant void in your heart, uh, just a gaping no, hole I felt in that. your soul. Yeah, no, did it I feel didn't amazing. Feel that. Okay, we are so <laughs> no, glad to have them back. I did miss you guys so much. They, in fact, I did bring home. Sous so you guys kids. got home a little bit late. I know we had teased and talked about doing the sous vide unveiling when mom got home. We're gonna have to push that to the next day. So make sure you guys do come back because we'll be unveiling the things that mom got. And she has said a couple times that she thinks she got perfect. Each kid, something that matches them, their personality. I didn't get Ryder anything because he was with me. See? And I don't think I got anything. Yeah, might be true. Keychain. Guys, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out and thanks for coming on this trip with us. We had a great time. Come back tomorrow. Love ya. Good night, everybody. Bye. This feels so powerful. <laughs> you guys sit back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine if I like hit something and it just starts driving? <laughs> yeah, you're like taller than mom. He's taller. Whoa, wait, that just happened over this last four days? How long were you gone, Drew? I mean, mom. <laughs> Drew was here with me. <laughs>